Yo, so guys, I'm back to another video. We're out there, oh, we're feeling a bit adventurous for this intro. Another away day, Bristol City away. We're at Oakwell, catching the coach. We've got Bristol City away today. Um, obviously, you guys know they've got horrific home form. Obviously, you guys know we've got horrific form in general. So this one, we've probably got a nil-nil draw all over it. But we'll find out today. I've been to Ashton Gate once, where we lost 1-0. It was not a pleasant experience, but a very nice ground. So I'm um, looking forward to seeing ground again. Meeting a fellow vlogger down there, so he'll be in my video as well. That'd be nice to see. Score prediction wise, we're gonna go for two one reds. I know, I'm opt optimistic. We've got to win a game eventually, surely. I put two one on my score prediction league. If you want to join that, it's here. Uh, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram, you can join in on that. Bit of fun. Um, hopefully, Isaac and Cole should both be starting today after they came on and made a great impact against Sheffield United. But it's Marcus Scop, and he'll end up starting Jasper Moon in centre mid again. But we'll see how it goes. Well, we'll stop rambling on. Let's get down to Ashton Gate for another away day. I can't wait. If you are new, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you when we get down there. Come on, you Reds. Guys, I'm here with fellow vlogger Robin on tour. Ben, um, got him in for a little interview today. Not normally my kind of thing, this, but we're going to give it a go. I'm also on his channel, so I'll leave a yeah. link in the description. Uh, obviously, coming into this game, you know your home form, you know our overall form. What are your pre match thoughts? Well, we, we were saying to just on, on my channel, it's going to be such an unpredictable game this one. It could be a one or draw or two or draw, which we've seen in the past, or it could easily be one of those five fours here, this one, even though we don't. Neither team really scores too many goals. It just could be. It's that unpredictable, this one. We're both down there, obviously, after the Bristol City. have had a few poor results. Honestly, I, I couldn't tell you. But I think this is probably our best chance this season of getting that first home And if we don't today, questions will be asked. Um, and I don't know where our next one would come because we got Stoke, who are playing well at the moment. Obviously, you're still not out of the EFL Cup. We've got Blackburn coming up as well. And then we enter that, that December... January sort of time when we always struggle so if we don't get it today I, I can't, don't really know where, when it will come so I'm hoping it does come today. Yeah. Obviously we talked about your home farm but you're not too bad away from home obviously no. you've been picking up points yeah. here and there. Do you have any particular reason why your home farm not so good? Honestly I was talking on, a, on another Barnsley podcast and I couldn't really tell you. Um, ever since sort of 2017-18 we haven't really been the same here after that uh, I think it was a Wolves game where we lost 2-1 we haven't really been the same. I couldn't really put put a finger on it. It's the atmosphere. If we're not backing the players too much, even though um, I feel we do, uh, we can pro we can obviously be better. But I, I don't think that can really be an excuse. And honestly, I don't really know. I couldn't, couldn't really tell you. To be completely honest, just one of them dodgy farms like yeah, we've it got. Is, yeah, and it, is, it needs to it needs to change soon. Yeah. Otherwise, I do worry about being down there come end of the season. So do you reckon if you get the three points today, that would be the kick on you need and you can climb yeah. the table? Yeah, I think it will be. Because we've got Blues on Tuesday, Coventry on uh, Saturday, next Saturday. So if we win today, I think it, that will be the boost we need. Because we, we need that win. Yeah. So we've said this is one of the games it could go either the three ways. Yep. Final score prediction to end it? I'm going go for a 2 one Bristol City win. I've said that for pretty much every game this season. So at one point, it's going to have to come true. All right, perfect. Thank you very much. No worries. Thank you. Anderson's back in, no Honda Mark, no Olare, no Styles, I'm not sure why. Jasper Moons is centre mid again, but Anderson is back in the positive. Hopefully, you get three points. Come on. I'm on time on you, so please don't take my Bosley away. Come on, Red. Anderson back in team, mopping things up as normal. 
absolutely class mad. and he's got a one-on-one. -on -one. The Bristol fans are getting very frustrated at the moment. A lot of loose balls have lost. But there's a good chance of a counter-attack if we're not careful. Offside goal. Offside goal. We've had a few decent counter-attacks, but only the one good chance from them. Still one no Barnsley. If just run through and score it, it was a mile offside, I'm sure of it. I want to see this, that look, that neutral perspective that looked offside. The, the, re, the replay shows it's very tight. They've been given benefit of doubt, it's won all. Collins has made an incredible save. Bristol City should be 2 1 up. What a save by Brad Collins. Right before half time, it, oh my god. Yeah! Fuck's sake! So. That's real frustrating to take. Really frustrating to take. I won't say we deserve to be losing, but we are. Half time. One minute we're 1 0 up. Their fans are frustrated. Ten minutes later, we're 2 1 down. It's half time. Frustrating, but it's our own fault. Yes, yes, yes! Well, I'm also trying to keep it on. Let's go, it's fucking strong. Come on. Shin! Oh. And we get excited when the save's that easy. <laughs> there's, no, there's no one in box. Come on, Benson, please. Oh, what a knock. Please! Oh, what a tackle that is. Please! No! 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 
away. I don't understand how we've not scored. How have we not scored? Go on. Oh, oh my, I've, I've never been so, words can't describe how gutting that is. Words cannot describe. Shoot, please. Oh my God. Gotta get it back over. It's a great knock. Oh, it's great keeping. Get it, please! Oh my, how have we not equalised? The ball's been that far from going in three times. Surely it's only a matter of time. Please. All that pressure, one counter attack. Come on, what a knock! No, that is one of the best. He broke his head, he broke his face, but that is some defending. That fair play to Bristol lad. Oh. Come on, please Devante, no, I don't understand, I, I can't, I can't put into words how we haven't equalised, come on Devante, yes, come on, come on Ray, no, no. off the line, Whoa. what is happening? Please, no. But give him the edge, edge of the box. Go! What is that? Um, uh, please, please. Welcome to Barnsley. Please. He's blocking him off. Good tackle. Go. Last minute. This is final chance. Keeper. No, no way. Time. I've never seen so many missed chances in the second half of my life. How we've not equalised, I'll never know. Bristol City's won the game. They've broke the voodoo. But I've never been so heartless, heartbroken in my life. That's it. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.